You may have seen movies or cartoons depicting life during an ice age, with woolly mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and humans struggling to survive in a frozen world. But what are ice ages really like, and what causes them? And more importantly, when is the next one coming? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating and interesting topics about everything. Today we're going to talk about ice ages, those periods of time when large parts of the Earth are covered by ice sheets. What is an ice age? An ice age is a long period of time when the Earth's climate is much colder than usual, and large parts of the land are covered by thick sheets of ice. Ice ages can last for millions of years, and during that time, the Earth goes through cycles of glaciation and interglaciation. Glaciation is when the ice sheets grow and expand, covering more land and lowering the sea level. Interglaciation is when the ice sheets shrink and retreat, exposing more land and raising the sea level. These cycles are driven by changes in the Earth's orbit, tilt, and wobble, which affect how much solar radiation reaches different parts of the planet. When was the last ice age? The last ice age began about 2.6 million years ago, and it is still ongoing. Yes, you heard that right. We are living in an ice age right now. But don't worry, we are not in a glacial period. We are in an interglacial period, which means that the ice sheets are relatively small and confined to the polar regions. The last glacial period ended about 11,700 years ago, marking the beginning of the current interglacial period, known as the Holocene epoch. During the last glacial period, also known as the last glacial maximum, about 30% of the Earth's land surface was covered by ice, reaching as far south as New York and London. What causes an ice age? Scientists have long puzzled over what triggers an ice age, and how small variations in solar energy can lead to such dramatic shifts in the Earth's climate. A recent study published in Nature may have found the missing link in the process that leads to an ice age. According to the study, melting icebergs in Antarctica are the key factor that plunges the Earth into a prolonged period of cold temperatures. How does that work? Well, when the orbit of Earth around the Sun is just right, Antarctic icebergs begin to melt further and further away from Antarctica, shifting huge volumes of freshwater away from the Southern Ocean and into the Atlantic Ocean. As the Southern Ocean gets saltier and the North Atlantic gets fresher, large-scale ocean circulation patterns begin to change, pulling CO2 out of the atmosphere and reducing the greenhouse effect. This in turn cools down the Earth and allows more ice to form. What are some other theories of ice age causes? There are other factors that may contribute to or influence ice age cycles, such as solar activity, atmospheric circulation, volcanism, human activity and feedback loops. Solar activity refers to changes in the sun's output of energy and radiation. One indicator of solar activity is sunspots, dark spots on the sun's surface that vary in number over time. Some scientists have linked periods of low sunspot activity to periods of colder climate on Earth. For example, two periods of low sunspot activity, 1450 to 1540 and 1645 to 1715, coincided with some of the coldest years of the Little Ice Age in Europe. Atmospheric circulation refers to patterns of air movement around the globe. One example is the North Atlantic Oscillation, which is an oscillation between high and low pressure systems over the North Atlantic Ocean. In its positive phase, storms are centered over Northern Europe, bringing mild and wet weather. In its negative phase, storms are shifted southward, bringing cold air from the Arctic to Northern Europe. Changes in North Atlantic Ocean may have contributed to variations in temperature and precipitation during ice ages. Volcanism refers to volcanic eruptions that can eject large amounts of ash and gas into the atmosphere. These can block out sunlight and lower temperatures for months or even years. There were several large volcanic eruptions during ice ages, such as Laki in Iceland in 1783 and Mount Tambora in Indonesia in 1815. 
These eruptions caused widespread crop failures, famines, epidemics and social unrest around the world. Human activity refers to the impact of human civilization on the Earth's climate, mainly through the emission of greenhouse gases such as CO2 and methane. Some researchers have suggested that human-induced global warming has delayed or prevented the onset of a glacial period, by increasing the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere and enhancing the greenhouse effect. Others have argued that human activity may have triggered a slight cooling in the 16th century, by causing the deaths of millions of indigenous peoples in the Americas, which led to reforestation and a dip in atmospheric CO2. Feedback loops refer to processes that amplify or dampen the effects of climate change. For example, ice albedo feedback is a positive feedback loop that occurs when ice melts and exposes darker land or water, which absorbs more heat and causes more melting. Another example is carbon cycle feedback, which can be positive or negative depending on the source and sink of carbon. For instance, warmer temperatures can increase the release of CO2 from soils and oceans, which can further warm the climate. On the other hand, warmer temperatures can also increase the growth of plants, which can take up more CO2 from the atmosphere and cool the climate. What are some examples of Ice Age effects? Ice ages have profound effects on life on Earth, both for humans and other species as followings. During the Little Ice Age, 1300 to 1850, a period of cooling within the current interglacial period, Europe experienced heavy rainfall, crop failures, famines, wars, social unrest and cultural changes. Some famous paintings from this period depict scenes of winter landscapes, such as Peter Bruegel's Hunters in the Snow. The Little Ice Age also affected other parts of the world, such as China, where droughts caused by changes in monsoon patterns led to political instability and rebellions. In contrast, some regions benefited from milder climates during this period, such as Greenland and Iceland where Norse settlers thrived. Ice ages can also create spectacular natural features such as fjords, moraines, drumlands and erratics. Fjords are long, narrow inlets with steep sides or cliffs that were carved by glaciers. Moraines are piles of rocks and debris left behind by glaciers. Drumlands are elongated hills formed by glacial deposits. Erratics are large boulders that were transported by glaciers and dropped in different locations. Ice ages can also affect sea levels and ocean currents. As more water is locked up in ice sheets and glaciers during glaciations, sea levels drop and expose more land bridges between continents. For example, during the last glacial maximum, sea levels were about 120 meters lower than today, allowing humans and animals to migrate across regions such as Beringia, between Asia and North America and Doggerland, between Britain and Europe. On the other hand, as ice sheets and glaciers melt during interglaciations, sea levels rise and submerge coastal areas and islands. For example, the Maldives, a chain of islands in the Indian Ocean, are threatened by rising sea levels due to global warming. Ocean currents can also change as a result of melting ice, affecting the climate and marine life of different regions. So, in conclusion, we don't know for sure when or if there will be another ice age. What we do know is that ice ages are fascinating phenomena that reveal a lot about how our planet works and how it changes over time. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.